with the introduction of the Mark III, the Royal Air Force, with its increased number of Shackletons, was able to employ permanently Mark IIs in the Far East. Earlier Mark I's were returned to RAF Kinloss in the United Kingdom for conversion to T4 standard and used as maritime operational training units until 1968. Suddenly in 1958 the Shackleton was vaulted into a new age. Operation Grapple, mounted from Christmas Island, called upon the Shackletons to perform meteorological reconnaissance for nuclear tests. In the Yemen, the Shackleton had not forgotten the lessons taught by its forebears. In 1964, in the wild and mountainous area of Rad Fan, 35 miles north of Aden, dissident tribesmen had effectively closed the Dala Road, the main trade artery from the Yemen to Aden. With our long-term Arabian Peninsula policy in mind, Rad Force, as it was known, was given the task of making the Dala Road safe and plans called for maximum use of air power. Over three and a half thousand bombs were dropped by Shackleton's of number 37 squadron as they gave support in true Lancastrian style. Performing a multitude of roles, the Shackletons flew the British flag to the far corners of the world. Goodwill tours served to improve political harmony as well as being a showcase for British military aviation. By carrying full complements of ground crews and spares, the detachments gained valuable training in being highly mobile self-contained units able to move far into Commonwealth lands at a moment's notice. In Malaysia, the Shackleton played a prime role as it gave the ground forces continuous air support. But as Britain's influence around the world continued to dwindle, the Shackletons, after 20 years of constant service, were decommissioned. But then, with the loss of the aircraft carrier airborne early warning system, Britain was again to turn to Chadwick's aging Shackleton. 